Hello and welcome to the new weekly challenge of the Power BI. And this week is week 11, which I'm picking it up. And what I'm showing you is the challenge where it has been asked, can you turn a ribbon chart into a bump chart? So a ribbon chart, if I just expand this, looks like this, right? And a bump chart really looks like this. So bump chart, if you are coming from Tableau, you would be aware that how frequently it is used because it clearly indicates the, let's say in this case, like rank of the country. So wherever the ranking is being done and how the rank is moving, right, is something you want to figure it out. Now rank is moving over a period of time, rank is moving over a category is a different thing. But whole idea is if you want to see the rank which is moving uh, how it is moving up and down as it progress over a category then a bump chart is something uh, useful right so for example over here you can clearly see that uh, Mexico was at number five but in 2014 Jan it moved to number one right so clearly display so even if if I just select the Mexico from here it highlights Mexico and you can clearly see even up here like how how it is moving so so this chart which is ribbon chart is useful but this gives you more clear indication in case of a ribbon chart if you see there is a bit of a width there are bar charts and all so all of this is coming into a place making it like little bit busy but this is quite clear so that's something we will see how you can create a bump chart like this that's the whole objective of this and it's Earlier, you know, I had an impression that uh, probably it would require a complex chart. However, I knew that we have this rank function, we can calculate ranks and all. But I guess what you need is a little bit probably more courage to plot the rank over a category and over a period of time. So that's something I did not do. But with this exercise, I was able to double up my skill set or I was able to add one more chart into my, um, my knowledge as to what do I need to do if I have a requirement like this. And that is why I really like and love these uh, challenges which has been posted by these amazing people. In this case, uh, David uh, has posted this and uh, and. Uh, you know adding more and more to my knowledge right you know we know what we know but we learn more from others right so let's see so you have this use the financial samples data set uh, available in power bi and before that a quick information that uh, what i'm doing is uh, all these links like exercise link and all is present at uh, description video the video of the description as well as over here so this sheet the link of this sheet is also present in the description where what I do is I keep a track of what I'm doing and then I just put it like a what is a video title, uh, what is a video link, what is a week on week exercise so that as you can see there are people are coming and utilizing this information same way you can come in and uh, utilize this information search anything or look at any previously published video use the video link to jump to the video or use the exercise link directly from here as well. Also, what I have done is I have close to, two, I have 200 videos on the feature explainer that you can search it by title and uh, come to the column B to jump to that video. So whole idea is to streamline or make it easy for you uh, searching of my videos that I have published and help you to learn effectively and more. All right, with this information, let's go to the Power BI. So what I'm doing is opening up the Power BI. And the Power BI will, uh, you know, here we need to use a sample data set. So that's also I will just show you if you have never used a sample data set directly within the Power BI. You can see you have a click directly over here. Or if you are any, using any other version which is not showing this, then you can even come over here, help, example, sample data set so anyway is fine so i'll just click it over here uh, experiment over on your own so load the sample data it will load the financial sample data set for me and this is a financial table which i just select and click on load 
and it is creating or connecting the table loading the data model will take a couple of seconds 700 rows loaded and these are a very simple data set right you have sales cost of goods sold so on and so forth okay so once we have this information um where it has gone there you go so use the financial sample data set. This is what we have been using. Create a ribbon chart with a combination of date, country, and sales. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are you? There you are. So we need to create a ribbon chart. Ribbon chart is where here. So here is a ribbon chart. So dang. So we have a ribbon chart. I hate this. Where is it? Here you go. Uh, ribbon chart with a combination of date country and sales x-axis date mm, month uh, y-axis sales legend is our country and here you got right so if you want to select anything like Mexico, we were doing it earlier. This is what it is showing you. Sale is this much, so on and so forth. United States of America and no. all. So we have created a ribbon chart. Create a DAX measure that will rank the countries by sales. Rank countries by sales, right? So for that, what I will going to do is select this, create a new measure and uh, country sales rank. And here we will going to use the rank function and here we need to use the table. So what table we want to use, right? So two options are here, whether we can specify this entire table, that means ranks will be changed whenever let's say any filter or anything will be selected or if you want to keep the ranks intact what you can do is utilize the all selected function and say country so at country level ranks will be intact and uh, then you need to specify the expression expression is sales so uh, that is your uh, sum of sales so we will put it in the calculated sum sales and we'll click OK so you have a DAX measure that will calculate also you know I was experimenting with this a lot and down there as a solution to this video is also if you see a similar function right so that that's something I have been I have taken it up when I was looking it because I was I earlier gave like like entire table and all and it was sort of producing the result but not expected so we I utilize this solution which has been given down there and then created this function so I, as you could see I have I have kept the same dex function so use a combination of dex function some calculate all selected and rank x in your measure hand is go to dex guide Expand your solution below if you get stuck and want a sample measure if you have never touched X before, blah, blah, blah. That's okay. Now add a line chart that includes date, country, and your custom sales rank measure. Okay, select the line chart. Um, let's just keep the month. Country, right? Country, 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 here. Yeah. And uh, we have the rank, this one, country sales rank. Just check that and there you go, right? You have the first structure at least built up. Let me just move it up a little bit. You have this structure built up, right? Which is present over here, as you can see. Some more formatting for sure. Also, if you observe, we are getting the rank 5 here and rank 1 here. It should be opposite. If I show you this, you have the first rank here and fifth rank here. And I think that's one of the instruction as well. Determine a way to add, first of all, add markers to your line chart. That's okay. It's a formatting thing. Determine a way to make your 
sales rank on the line chart appear like a ribbon chart highest rank value should be at the top okay so rank one should be at highest right so like for example mexico mexico is highest over here so for this what you will do is we will first of all need to select this chart um go to y-axis and you have the invert range and there you go as simple as one to five right so the mexico is at the top now so we have done that you need to add the markers to your line chart i think that's where the um lines is it solid line joint type meter bevel that's okay stroke okay you can increase and decrease this four is fine yeah there you go markers simple markers right i think i like what is this five yeah rather than that crazy one square one, sort of a diamond shape this one is better i will recommend this so now select this right or select this or select this or select this and i have this space what else determine a way to make your sales rank blah blah uh, if you add if you had to modify your rank measure to fulfill prior requirement be sure the rank value in the line chart y axis default will appear a positive numbers yeah it's all positive numbers if i'm not wrong and no the visual okay so that's what it is right and uh, we can now add let's say a product as a slicer just to experiment it little bit okay i will drag this up till here and i will drag this up till here right and i will add a slicer that's just my thing i want to explore the data a little bit more and and see whether everything is working fine or not and we add the product so now we have the product and here you see right your rankings are changing based on what product you are selecting so giving you much more flexibility to what is needed right and this is like overall now i want to give you another exercise if you have followed this what you need to do you need to create a similar chart but not by country but by product so sales rank by product and use the filter as country that should be your exercise to practice it one more time right and practice makes a person perfect so with that motto i hope you will take it up the exercise but if you have any question let me know that's all what i wanted to show in this video and i'll meet you in the next video with a new challenge thank you bye